Hallelujah. Christ is risen. It is Easter morning, and we gather with joy. We gather with joy here in our garden at Applewood. I gather with joy with my sister Barb, who is part of my household. Welcome to a time of celebration. Like the women who gathered at the tomb that first Easter, we begin our service here outside in the garden. We come with some grief over what has been lost over the past year. We come with some fears, perhaps lingering, about what we will come to in the future and what that future might look like. But we also come with grateful hearts because we know in our time how much we truly have to celebrate. And so I invite you into this worship time as we lift our hearts and our thoughts to God. Holy One, we are still isolated, still feeling like we've been left alone in a shadowed place. But this is the day. Hope tiptoes us awake. Light guides us through the shadows. We are keeping a safe distance from others. We are quarantining ourselves. We are not gathering as God's people. But this is the day the Lord plants joy in our winter hearts, drowns out despair's cries with laughter. This is a time of uncertainty and fear. We wonder what today will bring. We worry about the coming tomorrow, but this is the day the Lord has made. The day grace does cartwheels in graveyards, resurrection wonder outshines the brightest sun, an empty tomb fills us with good news. The morning has broken. are barely open. The sky has hardly brightened. The morning has just begun, and we see you have already done a new thing. Praise be to you, O God. Your ways are beyond our understanding, your mystery too vast for words. Yet on this day we dare to believe that you are making us into new creations. Hallelujah. So we're going to share this resurrection story from Mark's Gospel in this morning video. And so we offer a prayer to God to open us to hear those words. O oh God, for whom there are no barriers, no stones too big to remove, roll away our resistance to you. Let your words fill us with new life and bring us out from the tomb of indifference, alive again in you. In Jesus, the risen one's name we pray. Amen. The reading is from Mark's Gospel, chapter 16, the resurrection of Jesus. When the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James and Salome, brought spices so that they might go and anoint him. And very early on the first day of the week, when the sun had risen, they went to the tomb. They had been saying to one another, who will roll away the stone for us from the entrance to the tomb? When they looked up, they saw that the stone, which was very large, had already been rolled back. As they entered the tomb, they saw a young man dressed in a white robe, sitting on the right side. 
and they were alarmed. But he said to them, Do not be alarmed. You are looking for Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He has been raised. He is not here. Look, there is the place they laid him. But go, tell his disciples and Peter that he is going on ahead to you to Galilee. There you will see him, just as he told you. So they went out and fled from the tomb, for terror and amazement had seized them, and they said nothing to anyone, for they were afraid. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Thanks be to God. Thank you, Barb, for joining me in the garden, in the chill, but in the warmth of God's love on this Easter Sunday. Like those women who came to the tomb and found the stone rolled away, we might ask ourselves, who rolled away that stone for them? None of the gospel writers really tell us in their accounts of that first Easter exactly who rolled the stone. In our faith, we believe that God opened that tomb. It was God who brought Jesus back into the light of life, into the light and love of his companions. Each one of us will have our own stones, especially in these pandemic times, our own barriers in our lives. And so I ask you this Easter morning to think about who rolls the stones away for you. Is it your faith, the presence of God, that helps to remove barriers, that helps us to see God's light and God's love more clearly. In our own community of faith here, there are many folks who work to help us to roll away different kinds of stones. Our prayer chain that prays actively for us may help us to roll away some of our stones of fear, of feeling alone. Our affirming committee works to enlighten us about issues that are important to those who have long been on the margins of our society. They help us to roll away stones. Our outreach committee always working to bring God's love into the lives of others. They, too, help us to roll away stones. And in our own lives, we may have those individuals who open us, who challenge us, but who eventually help us to roll away our own stones. Today we give thanks for all of those and we give thanks to God who has rolled away the stone of fear, of grief on this Easter morning that allowed the light of life to shine into that tomb and shine into the hearts of those women gathered, even though they were fearful. Praise be to God on this Easter Sunday. Praise be to God every day, for every day is a day that God has made to roll away the stones in our lives. Amen. We're going to continue to celebrate, usually in our garden, and if you've ever joined us for an Easter sunrise service, we do a little dancing. There isn't much room to dance today, but I have a tambourine. And maybe in your own space, in your living room, or wherever you're watching this video, even if you're outside on a sidewalk, you might do a little moving as we sing, Christ is risen from the dead. Glory. Hallelujah. Christ is risen from the dead. Glory. Hallelujah. Christ is risen from the dead. Glory. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is risen, glory, alleluia. Jesus Christ is risen, glory, alleluia. And we're going to sing a little faster this time. Christ is risen from the dead, glory, 
to God with joy and thanksgiving. Creator of mists and mystery, you roll away the stones and open us to your light to let your good news shine out to all the world. Give us hope, living God, hope in our hands to serve others, hope in our eyes to see possibilities, hope in our hearts to imagine a future in faith. For in hope you roll away stones. We pray today for those who are feeling cut off from that light. For those who are lonely or afraid. For those who have lost hope or are seeking hope. For in hope you unwrap our pain and our yearnings, our worries and wonderings, our hopes and our joys. Amen. So a favorite hymn of mine for Easter morning is Joy Comes with the Dawn. It's a little chilly for me to play my guitar, but I offer a couple of verses of this beautiful Easter hymn. Joy comes with the dawn. Joy comes with the morning sun. Joy springs from the tomb and scatters the night with her song. Joy comes with the dawn. Weeping may come. Weeping may come in the night when dark shadows cloud our sight. A joy comes with the dawn. Joy comes with the morning sun. Joy springs from the tomb and scatters the night with her song. Joy comes with the dawn. We will rejoice. We will rejoice and give praise to the one who brings us Joy comes with the dawn, joy comes with the morning sun, joy springs from the tomb and scatters the night with her song, joy comes with the dawn. May God's joy come into your space, into your life. May this be an Easter, although we remain separate, that we can still celebrate the good news of Easter and declare it far and wide. We're going to close with a prayer written by the Reverend Dr. Nancy Hardy, who collected prayers and liturgy for those of us who worship in the city. And this is from her collection. We lift our hearts to God. Great and glorious God, you have rolled away the stone and raised Christ to life. And now you invite us to share in the good news. Give us the courage to welcome the winds of change in our lives as it sweeps the sidewalks and brings hope to hungry families, released prisoners, sick and sad people of all ages. In this season of Easter, run with us in the joy of new life that transforms the way we see the world and one another. For Christ is risen. Christ, Christ is, is risen indeed. indeed. Hallelujah. 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 Happy Hallelujah. Easter to everyone. Thanks for watching. <laughs>